Good evening, good afternoon, lads, ladies, pirates, players of humanity, you all people behind the profile stats. I just joined a guild. I just joined a memes. I basically, I am not part of the rumble. Mm, so what is this video about? A unique rebel. I basically, I'm playing alongside a dragonfly. It's time to point on mic. That's the one. So we can put an F, F for efforts into our game plan Germans. If you can find any player that's 28 and 25, which is 2,825 days in piracy. If you can find a player that's got more days in piracy than that, then I'll become the QM of your guild <laughs> for three days. Uh, so I don't think you can. Anyways, I hope you don't. Yeah, so basically... Yeah, I'm with the elders of the gameplay. That's the one. So we're just trying to do some perk funding there. And basically, I've shared some replays. And, um, I'd like to do a quick shout out for a few people that smile, show you what's getting down, sunshine. Yeah, this one ain't look wiggly worth. That's the one. Wigglesworth. Wiggles, Wigglesworth. What's going on, Wigglesworth? I hope that means something nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'd be nice pirates on this side of town. The monkeys you're using. Ah, oh, so you're using. You know that the the highest percentage. What I say to you is this, all right? The highest percentage is only when this legendary pirate, Shinderberry, is max level. You understand what I'm saying? Along the way, you might get other pirates that are more max level. So remember. When I let, when I give you troops, when I send you GGs, right? Where are you? Knock, knock. Who's there gonna be doofed? Look, when I send you GGs, only because I'm trying to help you to get more BP, yeah. And BP is what your lazy pirates need, yeah, to level up some of the higher levels, especially the highest levels, like forty thousand BP. Yeah, you heard right. Yeah, yeah, forty thousand BP. You're gonna need that for the higher levels. You understand? That's each lazy pirate. That's twelve pirates. They've got multiple levels. You understand what I'm saying? That's trying to, information trying to give to you the new players early. So instead of being like a, a being a hero, yeah? Instead of like being a hero and like finding this perk, yeah? Just damn say, let me do it, yeah? Let me be your hero. I need the hero. I need the hero to do and then the night. That's the one he's gotta be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the one could ever do for a fight. Could ever do. Yeah, so it's okay for us, me and Fly. To do the perks, you know what I'm saying? Because we basically you can see how much look, look at the bottom of the screen. Look at the screen. Look, I got six billion. No, six million. No, seven. Oh my word, I got seven million. Thank you. Congratulations to me. I got seven million BP, you understand? So it's okay, I can help. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's just show some easy gameplay. Or those that be worthy and more. This is how I play, right? I just sometimes I would just test a few aeronauts, yeah? I'll check if the AAAs are working. Yeah? But this one I knew that it's not working because of the the gold and the grogs. You see the numbers are rounded, you understand? So I know that all the all the loot is mainly in the distilleries and gold mines, you understand? They're not in the in the storages, they're not in the big storages, they're in the smaller ones, you understand? The still is in gold mines, so I'm gonna fast forward it anyway, because what you're gonna see is just a uh, air blower floating all it's just flying over. And then you're gonna see some troops from the other side just taking out some just just difficult areas so that by the time you know it gets easier. It's all about making your life easier. So I'll deploy a legendary pirate as well, you understand? I'm saying I've got a pirate, a pirate, okay? That's what it's all about. Just a quick replay, flying for it, showing you. I use I use the aeronauts. They take longer to uh, to recruit, but it's worth the sacrifice because you know you get an easy victory. You understand? Plus that PR seven hundred. You can imagine a PH fifteen, pirate hole fifteen, at a PR plus seven hundred. What kind of points will I be getting? You understand? What I'm saying. So that's what I worked with. But when I know when I'm halfway through. The victory, or 
Then I just start thinking, what extra troops can I send in to get a quicker victory, you understand? So I sent in GGs, I think, on this side. I would have. Where the monkeys is the GG. Sometimes it's like a different outcome. There they are, the monkeys. Where are you doing? Where are you doing? That's the one. I love playing with the linguistics. Just have me fun and gameplay, you see. Go keep the positivity vibe. Let's try the positivity vibe. Don't take 100. Look, positivity vibe. How's Prince doing? Yeah, I hope Prince is okay. Patashed, see that? Patashed. This one I'm trying to bring to you. I'm trying to bring you the easy gameplay. Yeah, another one here, yeah? Just showing you how I do it on this side of town. So basically, I put one aeronaut in, yeah? So just test it out, then I send another one in, then the third. See? I just had a feeling on this one. Sometimes I'm wrong, do you understand? So it's better to lose a battle with like two or three aeronauts than to lose it with like all six. So then I'll probably come in with a few gunners here and there, probably use a... Okay, I've got Sadie over there. I use a few gunners, I use a few aeronauts. So I just try to take some structures out that are difficult to reach the last dying seconds, you understand? That's how I work towards, that's my gameplay. That's how I approach. Because I know that the traps are not rearmed. And then I know there's like, this one had a legendary pirate. So it was difficult to decide whether I should go for this one or not. So sometimes I actually just risk it, you know? This one was a bit of a risky for the biscuit kind of thing, you know? This I'm trying to show you all out there. So you get a quick idea of how the unique rebel attacks Pirate Hall 15s that are not beyond. Whether there's dead bases or not, whatever the traces, whatever they're all going on, whatever's going down, I'm in a position to make, put my opinion upon players that are not playing anymore. Because sometimes it could be just they've got real life situations, you understand what I'm saying? So who the monkeys do I think I am? To start throwing judgment on the players and why they're not playing and whatever. That's their own thing, you understand? The only ones that I can judge are the ones that are worth judging, you understand what I'm saying? The worthy of judgment. Yeah, bringing a judgment day to them. That monkeys, did I get this one? Yeah, I got it. Oh my, well, I thought that was going to be a, uh, you know, a, a different type of an outcome. I'm here just trying to support some of the members here. Uh, they don't really need my support, but I like to just support across the waves. Okay, um, let's do it. Let's watch one more. Uh, basically, I'll tell you how it works, right? Those numbers, can you see the right top numbers? They're like 77 seven something, yeah? So I kind of figure to myself, but then, no legend pirate either. So I look at these other telltale signs, and I see a lot of busted up uh, mines that have not been rearmed. I see the flame gates as well. So I think to myself, out of the three, four, five telltale signs, and one of them is the flag. You can sometimes see that there's the flag it shows a... Like an Aztec, you know, the back, black background. So that one, this one shows that he's in a guild, so it's risky, you understand? Some players could just play dead, but they're not. So i got to really, like, put one in and two, you know, like, slowly kind of go for it. But then I need to take these out, outer uh, structures out. You see, once I put my six aeronauts in certain specific positions, I have to try taking out these outer areas. Can you see how I'm putting the gunners in certain specific places, strategic places? So they take this certain specific type of a, but based the way I call it is island furniture. They take out island furniture, key island furniture. So by the time the aeronauts have finished munching up the inner part of the cake, as they're going outwards, there's not much left on the outside. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm like, it's like when you eat your Ferrero Shay. In other words, <laughs> Ferrero Shay. Someone told me it's an Italian style Ferrero Shay. Is that true? Someone tell me about that. Oh my, well, all this time I didn't even know of it. Anyway, let's get on with the videos. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, I'm done so over, so even back to her, this is so good, so good, so good. So we try to stay... Um, we try to stay a bit of um, you know... Um, okay for all people of all walks of life. That monkey's down there. Yeah, so I sent in a black bar, I let him lie down for a little while, I don't wanna... 
basically I got a little bit of a trick with Black Bart when I use Black Bart I let him lie down for a while I'm on purpose don't get him up <laughs> no one knows this no one's done this before I only get him up when all some of the some of the uh, defenses have been taken down by the April Blast, uh, Aeronauts so I kind of like I kind of work with it but no one knows it but this is the way I use Black Bart I'd love to show this replay again but never time properly I tell you that's why I use Black Bart I've got the funniest way of using him I basically let him sleep for a little while so as the as the defenses go down I don't want him to get hurt so I don't want anyone to lose one stamina on him not two I've got a funny way of playing games sometimes Basically, I, I would always enjoy my own company. What kind of player? What kind of person enjoys their own company? Yeah, that's the kind of person that I have always been. I've been a very quiet person. I've always enjoyed my own company. That's the one. Anyways, I'm wishing you well. Oh, wherever you may be, I keep smiling, keep shining, I keep rising with your game playing gems. But more, most importantly, with algorithm dynamics of real life. That's the one. Uh, welcome. You are nice to see you. You always spoil us when you're here. <laughs> yeah, shout out to you as well, Smashy. Yeah, you know what? These kind of people are alright, you know. Yeah, may they stay blessed. That's why I come over here. This is what every player can do in the game. I'm not going to turn around and say, I can't believe why no one else does it. But if I, tomorrow, am not here anymore, and wherever I am, no matter where I am, I'd like to think and remember wherever I am, if I could visualize you all, or who I've left behind. I'd like to think of you all in a sensible, decent manner, you know? And it's time, it's time to take off the mic, the Mickey Mouse mic. If you hear my voice, voice. Echo, echo, echo. Be assured, judge. I'd, I'd, I'd always be there, there, there for you. And all those, those that be worthy. Could ever do potashed. Basically, this is what I did with Black Bar, right? I know I use six aeronauts. They come in from this direction, so I spread them out a bit. So the central aeronauts won't have anything on those sides to go and eat. So they'll go straight to the middle. That's my trajectory. So I put a few gunners on the outside. But I use black bar, you're going to see him right there. This video is all about shiny bar, right? You can, yeah. So when he gets hit and knocked down, I don't get him up on purpose. Because I know if I use all of his stamina up, I know if I use all of his uh, regeneration ability of getting back up again over and over again, look, he's down, yeah? So I'll leave him down for a while, okay? <laughs> this is... Basically, I'm playing dead with Black Bart. No one does this, right? This is not what people do, right? This is not part of the game. This is part of what I do. This is part of what the Unique Rebel does. So I let him stay down. And when I see the most of the defenses are out of the way, then I get him up, you understand? So I know he can get up three times more. So the, if I get him up straight away, he'll just get smashed by all these uh, gun towers. But the aeronauts, they won't get smashed up by the gun towers because they're... A sky troop, you understand that? An air troop. Now watch him get knocked down again. So I leave him. I let him stay. I let him be. I let him be at peace. Because if I keep getting him up over and over again straight away, spontaneously, I'll lose him. There he goes again, look. You see what I'm saying? I let him just be. Just stay down there, B. Yeah? Black Bart's called B. Yeah, stay down, B. So this is what I do. And, and then I get him up when I know that gun tower's going down, you understand? So he won't... But look at that. What's that all about? Can you see the AAR was shooting at Black Bar? What's that all about? The AAR came alive. Oh, my word. Well, this video's become more. That's what I'm saying. This game is... This game is... Can be dodgy sometimes. Trust me. It is. Sometimes you lose... A, a GG, an aeronaut while in a deep streak. Everyone knows that. The replays don't play properly. There's so many issues with the game. My new issues. Everyone knows it. But because it happens to the smaller players, no one highlights the issues. Until it happens to the bigger, heavier, bigger ego players. You understand what I'm saying? 
Anyways, let me wish you all well, because the video's getting too long now. Wherever you may be, keep smiling, keep shining, keep rising. Hey, <laughs> through the gameplay Germans as they evolve. But more and more importantly, the real life, that's the one. Yeah, some of these players are worthy of helping and assisting. And it doesn't matter what kind of points they score. Believe me, when I say to you, when this player here has scored a hundred and something points, this player may have returned to the game, you understand? So I'm not in a position to judge this player. But from what I can see from the victories, this player does try to win. And this player, you know, hasn't really had that support that they really need the most. But to me, that 135 is like 13k, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm looking at it. Like, if you look at this player here, right? Don't look at the days of piracy because this player just returned. They, they did start the game once and then they just walked out one into one door and out the other. And now they come to a guild where they, they might be understood. And we're judging them, you understand? To me, those 12 points are like, you know, like 5k, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not in a position to judge players and people. But what I like to do is, I like to help and support players. I like to give an offering, a hand, if I can, if I can, towards a betterment and what I can do to help them. And that's all I'm here to do. I'm here for the betterment for these players and to guide and support them. And anyone else that wants to come over and join us, come over and join us. The Unique Rebel always has a plan A, B, C. And that's what it's all about. And that's what it's always about. Because I play for the ones that be worthy. So I'm wishing you all well. Wherever you may be. Keep smiling. Keep shining. Keep arising. For your gameplay enjoyments as they evolve. But more importantly. They're all lives. Tossed.